All right, it is May 1st, which means we are going to go over eBay sales numbers. Um, and as you guys can see, we are down quite a bit from the last month. Uh, it was a slow month. Uh, we listed, uh, we broke over 100 listings. Um, I got some stuff listed high. I think that's part of the problem. I'm working on adjusting some of those. But um, here's our breakdown. You guys can see all of the numbers here. Um, seven total buyers. Um all sports cards down down a lot, down month, um, but that is okay considering our other up months were up. So let's just jump straight into it. Um, first card, um, April 2nd, we sold a Rui um, stainless auto out of 99. So just a buy and flip, um, $14 profit, so not bad. Um, then April 3rd, another Rui. Um, this was a PSA 10 that I had bought in... Yeah, like last year. So you guys can see that right here. Uh, Six thirty for seven. Anyways, we sold it just to get out of it. Three dollars and seventy cent profit. Um, then we didn't sell another card till the twentieth, um, which was an Austin Reeves uh, Red Ice um, draft picks. Um, this was I yeah. So I bought this at, for seventeen fifty um, as a ten um, and flipped it. Uh, 75 bucks so 42 48 so our total um profit on that card then we got a max christie um this was when i had graded myself um bought bought and graded um wait no nope i take it back um yeah no i bought this outright um won this on bids in november um sold it the same day um, you guys can see $62.86 profit. That was PSA 10. This card was one I had graded. Uh, it's a Reeves uh, second year prism, just like a cracked ice. Bought it for a dollar. Um, grading fee, 19 bucks. Um, sold it for 80 plus the shipping. So 85, 15 for $48 and 46 cents. So, um, what that leaves us with is not very much money for the month but um that is okay that is what happens and you know that's just part of um selling so um and once again if you guys are interested in seeing the this is everything uh just like single cards um that i have sold um throughout the whole year um so you guys can see um Pretty much all sports cards that I've flipped. Um, gonna have some Pokemon stuff later in the year. We're working on stuff. I got two orders at PSA, one sports, one Pokemon. So um, that'll be coming up soon. I'm gonna get a lot more stuff listed and get this kind of moving again. Um, but yeah, these basketball cards are gonna fall off now that the season's over for the Lakers, which was most of what my basketball cards were. Um, so you guys can see um, over here um, total uh, profit and loss. So this is a total sale price for the year. We're just under three thousand and about two thousand dollar profit, um, so that does factor in, um, like I said, fees, shipping, and grading fees. So this isn't every card I've graded. Obviously, there's other cards that are unsold, but once they sell, they go in here. So that's why this number looks the way it does. Um, that's four months, um, kind of casually. I'm not doing it super hard, hoping to ramp that up in the future. Um, but yeah, that is the uh, April summary. And if you guys are this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, you guys can see we're at 97% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could um, go down below and subscribe, um, that would mean a lot to me. Uh, maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you guys would like to see. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, April sports card update. And remember, it was never a phase. I'll catch you guys in the next one.